All right, so at the end of the round, we have to put out any baddies. We got ourselves a recovering careless tipsy troll. That was the one that was coming, came with this encounter. Is going to go into lane one melee, so right there. Goes in the bottom, no matter what. And there is tipsy. And then we still got room for another. Ah, poisonous bog frog. Never good. Four. Don't like poisonous things. That is going to be, well, would be in lane two. That's melee, so then it's going to go in the next lane. I think that is three, so it goes way over there. And there's the poisonous next available melee spot. There we go. It's actually kind of nice, kind of gets shielded a little bit. Um, then at the end of the end of round is when we swap out the, uh, we tag them in, tagging in Helix now. So we put this here. I just, you kind of, it says to turn these, you can do whatever. You just need to make sure you don't use this gear lock again, or this, um, this lab rat again, this particular battle. She is now tapped out. Helix has tapped in and we transfer everything over. So if there was any conditions on Gerbil, they'd transfer over. If there was any, anything, basically everything transfers over to Helix as, as, as they are basically one gear lock. So Helix, though, now pops up, takes the same spot. You know, the initiative stays the same. And now Helix comes out. And we've got a whole new set of abilities here. Oh, speaking of which, when she was still tapped in, she gained one bone each time a baddie was defeated. So actually there should be two bones up here because two baddies were defeated before she was tapped out. Excellent. We do like that. And now I think we are looking to get after round three. Okay, round three, here we go. So we gotta take out this decoy. Now Helix has some different stats. Dexterity is only two. Compared to, she had three and two attack. He's got two and one. One more defense, but... So so that's not... That doesn't help. But we can roll skill dice for free. Doesn't cost decks. So that is nice. Well, let's hear what we want to do. We have to take out this decoy before we can attack anything else. So, oh, man. So we'll move for one. <laughs> we can only roll one. We can always roll this, that. So, so we're going to do an attack die. Oh, and, and then can roll these for free now the the bad thing is if we roll that little symbol right there that is a malfunction symbol if we roll that malfunction symbol then we have to to use it well unless that's not true this is if you specialize in that particular color which which uh, in this case he does wouldn't have to um, use that and then and then also too so backing up if if helix rolled a color die doesn't specialize in and roll that malfunction then does have to use it and then when it gets exhausted it actually goes back to the tray you have to get that that bat you lose that skill so that um so rolling these for free is cool but i think we'll probably only roll this one for free and we won't risk that one yet so because that's his ability i'm am, am, am ambidextrous is what i'm trying to say all right so here we go we rolled out for free this is our one dex we have left after moving we have one uh reinforced buckler that we can roll we're rolling we're trying to attack that decoy and so ooh, this is pretty nice this is uh re is this re no this is um not reverberator this is the bump 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 absorberator the next time this unit loses hit points gain will be two a defense two die that's pretty good so yeah let's go ahead and put that there and then we have this bone we have another armor so there we go okay okay oh steel tech could draw loot don't want to do that i want to roll another bone so that i can find another lab rat is what i really want to do so didn't get a hit on that that is a super bummer because we have to kill that thing before we can do anything else moving on it is dart's turn we're going to move two for free <clears throat> riding on board trying to get away from this poisonous bog frog here now has to take this out but it can only roll i have two attack dice and can only roll um one attack die per target. 
So I can pick up two targets. I got, uh, oh, I forgot. I still have that penalty, so I can only roll one defense die again. And, hmm, well, so let's just go with, uh, let's re-roll this, because we got four decks. So let's see how we do with here again. Got another one armor, so down to three decks. Now we're going to aim, so one of these has to, well, they both have to go after that, sorry. So I'm not going to be able to roll one defense die. This is going after the decoy, so we did finally hit the decoy for one. But we can't attack anything else. So this kind of goes to waste. We can't even use it. We could use this bandolier. To, no, I don't want to do that. So she is done with her turn. Yep. So yellow goes. So yellow, this careless troll youngin, is going to move right on up to Helix. And is going to uh, roll just one attack die. Tries to hit Helix. Does. Now we could, I think we can use that right away, right? This is absorber. The next time this unit loses, oh, it has to lose hit points. It's not going to lose hit points. So it just takes off a um, uh, one armor. That's fine. We can handle that. And then blue goes. So would recover for one. So we're going to just have to gang up on this guy at the end. Tipsy troll. Careless. So if it rolls a bone, it's going to hit itself. Can't go anywhere except for one, two. It's going to come after dart. It's going to roll one die. And is going to remove her one armor. <clears throat> okay. Poisonous. Bogvrog here. Can't really get after except for taking this route. So it's going to go one, two. And then that's it for the Bogfrog. We are now in round four. Nobody tapped out. <clears throat> well, there's nobody to tap out with now, but we can, we're going to, hopefully we can change that. So, Helix here has to, oh, the next time this poisonous bog frog is going to come, that's going to be, so Helix has to take out that guy. Just has to. You must. So we get to roll that for free. It's already got the, well, it could roll into the defense, but you can roll an attack die. Gets this for free. Has one more dexterity to work with. Could move, but that doesn't make any sense, I don't think so. What else? Mm -hmm. I guess we'll just roll defense. Um, just to see what happens. Because we can. Because it's got a defense stat of two. So this is free. Here we go. We're trying to take out that decoy and see if we can get any bones. Oh, that worked out nicely. So, decoy. Dead. Lots of bones. That is excellent. So now what you can do, once you have four bones... You can use four bones, so we'll use them now. And you basically find another lab rat. We even had an extra. So that, I think we're going to pick of the two here. We got Flan. Flan is awesome because she's ranged. Ranged is very nice. But we got this grease monkey. can ignore malfunctions. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go with Flan. So we found Flan. And so, we still haven't found Slink, but she comes in and we get her all healthed up. So three plus two is a stat of five. So she has been found. She can be tagged in this round, or, or this battle too. So that is amazing. We will take it. And she has her own set of backup plan and all that stuff. New, uh, she attacks for two, no defense. Very cool. Okay. Oh, and now we have access to, when we level up, we're going to have access now to this yellow stat die to finally start increasing dex or attack. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right. Enough of that. Nonsense. Helix is done. Right? Yeah. Uses backup plan. Done. Helix done. Dart. Here goes Dart. Okay. So now no more restrictions. Dart. Hmm. Well, we can, we can, we could probably outlast these guys if it comes down to, I know she can, because she can heal. She has a backup plan of recovery. Well, but she's still low on health. She's going to move two, or free. Then she's got decks of four. Um, she really doesn't like this guy. Really doesn't like this bog frog. Doesn't want to have to deal with poison two all the time. 
Well, we might not have to. So I'm thinking of using the bandolier, but I don't think we will yet. Let's go ahead and so you can roll defense and to attack and oh, oh yeah, 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 we got this. So yeah, so I think we will. I think we're gonna roll this after this poisonous bog frog. Here we go, let's see, oh yeah, we'll see how we do. Ooh. So, okay, got one hit. We'll place this move a wound. So if it moves, which it will, it's gonna take one true damage, which is nice. Um, this attack die does get exhausted, however, because throwing that dart injected him. Now, uh, we can roll this anytime, or we will, so we get a bone, that. And then now we're gonna roll this at you or you. Well, this, this guy always heals for one, so I'm just gonna go after, should I go after, yeah, because it'll give us a chance for him to be more careless. So we'll go after him, hits this, takes off that armor. Okay, you wanna keep this guy rolling his, his shield eye if you can, because it's a good chance, one third of the chance uh, is gonna roll bones. So um, she is gone. Now we go to yellow, so here he is, he's gonna stay put. He's gonna go after Helix. Gonna roll a defense and an attack. No, oh, yeah, yeah. It only it only triggers once though. So he's, he's not that stupid that he hits himself two times. Unfortunately, it only triggers once, but ends up doing two damage to himself. Nothing to Helix. That was nice. Not not a brilliant one. This young and blue goes. So Tipsy is going to move up and is going to recover for one, but is already fully recovered. Also is careless. Let's see. If, uh, let's see if Tipsy is, is, uh, has any more luck fighting Helix here. Does. And um, that will remove one defense die from Helix. And then we go to purple. All right, so this guy, this is, this is the one we don't like. Moves one, two. But in doing so, this toxin takes effect. Does one true damage. And then he's going to poison Helix for two. And then this toxin wears off, this exhaust goes right over there. And now we are moving into, is everything squared away? Moving into round five. All right, to round five we go. We've got Helix here who is going to take two damage from poison. Oh, and that's gonna go to poison one. Ugh. Oh, but, but. Absorberator, excellent. So whenever loses hit points, the Absorberator triggers. And because it's orange, doesn't get exhausted, goes back in the available slot and gets a two defense die. Woo-wee, like that. It's a good skill to have. Now, only two decks. We, we need to take this guy out. These poisonous bog frogs are no good. And so we get one attack. And then, oh, gets reinforced buckler always. And then uh, skill dice do not cost dex to roll. So I think now <clears throat> we're just going to go ahead and take a chance and roll these two. And then um, already has a defense die, so I don't... Oh, you can roll an extra defense die. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, because this is free. This is free. Has two decks. We're aiming for that bog frog. We got a whole bunch of dice here. Yeah, let's get them. Get them. And oh my gosh, another two defense and a one. <laughs> uh, but look at that. That is a bunch of. <gasps> no way. No way. We can get our. If we use all these, we can get our next. <gasps> Yes, we will. We're already going to find Slank. That rocks. We're going to use all four of these. This won't exhaust because uh, it's orange. This will exhaust, however. These go bye-bye. And we have found Slank. There is Slank. Holy moly. That friggin' rocks. So even though we missed the bog frog there, we really wanted to kill him. That is quite all right, because we just found Slank out here and is going to have three, four, five, comes in with five health. Heck yeah. 
and do 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 okay man and that he can be tagged in so i think at the end of this we're just going to go ahead and we'll tag him out he, he he's probably going to survive anyway but why not we've got two other <laughs> two more of our teammates in the backup just wait look at all that look at all that armor we are in good shape but we did miss that poisonous bog frog and now we've got dart here who uh, i think is just gonna stay put we'll let we'll let our as i mentioned they kind of they're they, they're right in the middle of the melee they tend to soak up a lot of damage but you can see you can well when you draw the reinforced buckler that was awfully fortunate but you can see you can build up solid defense and these guys and they can just swap one out for the other you can if you as long as you remember to tag out that is a mighty uh trick to using these lab rats and but so done and now she only has one attack die left because she used the one and she can roll a a only one of her Defense die. She could use Bandolier. I don't think she's going to. I think we're in too good of a spot. She is going to aim that dart at this poisonous bog frog and is going to get armor two, hits the bog frog for one. Okay. Well done. Now we go to boop. Yellow. Okay. This careless troll youngin who has just not had a very good battle is going to roll two dice against. Oh my gosh. Spoke too soon. It's going to hit for two, so that's just going to remove two armor. Throws up <clears throat> a shield there. And then we've got uh, Recovering Careless Tipsy Troll. Nothing to recover. He's going to roll one on Helix. And takes away another bit of armor. No problem. And then this Poisonous is going to jack that poison back up to two now we move on to the fatigue rounds oh but at the end of that round actually we this so this is going to carry over so we'll, we'll tag out helix we'll put in let's put in flan here because she's ranged but she can also attack for two which is nice so we'll put her in um yeah so i think yeah i think it's what we're gonna do so flan comes on in we got a slide so this is where you got to kind of shifty mcshifter sends everything all over this kind of goes over here and we've got two tagged out lab rats flan oops, uh, snuck that reinforced buckler under there and she is now going to come in with her stuff we move everything over which is great unfortunately we also move the poison over to her which is not great and then we are done. So on each of your turns, you may reroll one unused die. Very nice. Fatigue rounds. Okay, so everybody... Oh, so he dies. And then everybody's taken fatigue. Boop, boop. Oh, dead. And uh, I can't have Horde take the fatigue. But there, that was a big... That was a lot of fatigue going on. This has been a long battle. So, this poisonous, so I can actually, I think I can pick here. Who do I want to go? Poisonous. Um, let's see, that would be bog, a bog ability, which would be poison. That would go, that would affect this skill. So, essentially, it would be either a goblin skill die um, or poisonous or this one. I don't like poison. I don't like poison skills. So, I think I'm going to put this here and I can decide later what I want to splice there. That goes that and i think i can decide wait level five maybe i don't have a choice maybe i have to pick the higher level i'm not sure um this one okay now this is uh the lab is full so this just gets exhausted or goes in the discard there's this purple gone and so she gets to go <laughs> flan pops in already just takes takes a whopping takes a whopping hit and now she can go, and I wanted her to be in here because she can roll two attack dice. So she's got two dexterity. She's not going to worry about armor. She has a reinforced buckler anyway, so she could roll that and will. And is going to roll to try and take out this recovering, this tipsy troll. Ah, doesn't, but gets a bone. That's an armor. Hits for one. 
And then uh, let's see here. Wait, resourceful. On each of your turns, you may reroll one unused die. So let's say we wait. Place poison effect on any two baddies. Oh, that'll kill him. So yeah. So she will instead of rerolling this. Well, I mean, I guess if she rolls it now, that would that would that would end it quicker. So we'll just roll it. And gets to re <laughs> rolls another bone. All right. Anyway, so uh, now we'll use um, bog bolts and. Or uh, it says big bolts. This says bog bolts. Whatever. I think it's I think it's bog bolts because it's poison. Place poison effect on any two baddies. She will exhaust this. She will throw poison upon the tipsy troll. She knows what it's like. She knows she knows what it feels like. And then Dart gets to go. Dart would just roll one die to try and take this guy out. And sees if she does, she does, she hits for two, dead. All right, so you would go into that stack. We have finished that battle. And everybody goes back to their respective spots. We can flip these back over, but they stay with their health. And then uh, she will come back here. Horde comes back as well, resetting. That stays. She's going to end up having her two. She's going to get rid of this because it was just one battle that she had the, uh, the penalty. And then we're going to put all these skills back. And this goes here. Man, we've managed to find all of our... That was incredible. That is wonderful. Now we get, um, so now we have to, before we get our goods, we have to splice. So the skills here. So the skills, yes, we, we can pick. If it's the um, choice between a one and a one, we get to pick. And we are going to pick this decoy and gulf skill. That'll go right there. So now our baddie, our tyrant at the end is going to have those two skills. And we go here and, well... That didn't have any shield. This doesn't have any shield, so armor. We don't have to raise that up. That is fantastic. The skill thing, that I need to check real quick because I don't quite remember if I have to take the... Uh, ba -ba -ba I have to take the... Right, spliced tyrant. Choose a baddie type from an adjacent baddie for which the tyrant does not already have and add the spliced tyrant. Okay, okay so I get to pick. Doesn't have, doesn't say I have to be the highest level. So, hmm. These guys are known for signaling. I don't want signaling or mischief. I'll go for this. I think uh, the trolls are mostly known for their thick skin and carelessness. That's not too bad. So, yeah, we're going to go with that skill. So, we're going to have to find it. It is in one of the many. Here it is. I think, I think it's going to be this one. Hmm. We've got this little um here it is so we are tyrant die for a troll yep it's gonna be gonna be that one so this is going to now become available this is gonna be a tyrant die it's gonna fight with bummer but that is taken care of there and then lastly uh, neither one of these guys brings in any extra baddies so that is done we are done. We have finished this day. What a long day. What a battle. You know, after the first, you know, part one, no battles. And then this has been all battley McBattlesons. Let's call it. I think that gave you a good idea of what you're looking at when you're playing with some of the newer goodies here available with splice and dice and a couple of the expansion gear locks. Until next time. I'm Board Game Rants. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.